Antifa has been capturing the attention of many with their violent tactics. That has led some to take an interest in the identity of these radicals. Anonymous hackers on 8chan have sought to create an extensive list of all known members of the anti-fascism group. Most disturbing are the vast number of professors, school teachers, and other workers in our public education system. While the majority of the list has yet to be confirmed by independent sources, there are a few who have been recognized by credible media for their affiliations with Antifa. One member, Eric Clanton, is a former Diablo Valley College professor who ironically taught philosophy, ethics, and critical thinking. His claim to fame came during a pro-Trump rally in May in Berkeley, California, where he violently attacked a man. A graphic video in the article shows Clanton attacking a Trump supporter with what was later identified as a bike lock. He was arrested on three counts of assault with a deadly weapon and reported to have caused serious injuries to at least three people. Another confirmed member from the list is Yvette Thorka, a middle school teacher in Berkeley who was charged with assault against a neo-Nazi and inciting a riot. Footage shows her attacking a neo-Nazi protester who refused to fight back and called on police for help when he was taken to the ground by Furka and other protesters. She claims the charges should be dropped because the man was a neo-Nazi, saying, Standing up against fascism and the rise of Nazism and fascism in this country is not a crime. We have the right to defend ourselves. That she helped organize the rioting at Barclay and belongs to the by any means necessary Antifa group. Police charged her with assault by means of force likely to inflict great bodily injury, participating in a riot, and inciting a riot. Thorka again justified her actions, saying the white supremacists were organizing to attack and kill us. So we have a right to self-defense. That is why we have to shut them down by any means necessary. Antifa members appear to come from all walks of life. In reviewing a number of Antifa members and organizers, the writers determined that Antifa members don't fit the single category, coming from diverse backgrounds. What they are united by is their hatred of anyone deemed a fascist and their willingness to resort to violence or any means necessary to silence those they oppose. Thank you.